Hi, it's Bradley from Agile Partners, and I want to give you an overview of the features and enhancements we've made to Tab Toolkit specifically for your iPad. I'll start with the home screen. We wanted to make full use of the large screen on the iPad, so we moved our main menu options to a panel on the left side. You can use the menu panel to sort by song name, or by artist, or browse your collection by artists. You can also see we've added a favorites category. Now you can assign favorites by tapping on the star next to any song name. We've also provided options to view songs by recently added and recently opened. Another feature I want to point out is our search feature. Now you can use this in a few different ways. Not only can you search by artist or by song name, but you can also search by the lyrics of a song. For instance, if I type in brains, you can see that I get both a title match and also a lyric match. I can also use the search feature to find all the songs that I have in a certain tuning. For instance, if I type in EADGBE, you can see that I have quite a few songs that are played in standard tuning. We're happy we could add these features, but you'll find some really great enhancements once you start working with a tab file. Already you can see that the iPad gives you a much bigger view of the music. Right now you can see our tab file laid out in vertical scrolling mode. I can scroll vertically through my sheet music, and when I hit play, the music notation will auto-scroll while the cursor indicates where I am in the music. If I want to change the instrument or multi-track playback options, I can tap on the instrument panel and remap the main track to another instrument. I can reset that view, and I can also use the, the playback panel to mute and unmute other tracks. Now everyone has their own preferences in terms of how they practice, so we've also introduced a playback panel that I can use to change my audio and metronome functions. As well, I can adjust the playback speed of the file that I'm working with. If I want to further customize how I see my music, I can also use the display panel. Here, another feature we've added specifically for the iPad is the ability to modify the size of the music notation. I can also change the way that the music is displayed by tapping the horizontal scrolling button, which will show the music scrolling from left to right, similar to how music is displayed in Tab Toolkit for your iPhone. In either horizontal or vertical viewing mode, I can still swipe across the screen to skip forward or back in my music, or I can use the scroll bar at the top to move to any point in the music that I want. Now I'd like to go back to the main menu and take a moment to show you that transferring tabs from your computer to your iPad is as easy as ever. I've already attached my iPad to my local Wi-Fi network, so when I tap the Upload panel, I get an IP address. Now I want to copy this IP address and bring up a web browser on my computer on the same Wi-Fi network. Once I enter that IP address, you can see my tab management interface. All I have to do is select Add Files, and I'll show you here. I want to add Night Timing. Once the transfer is complete, I can go back to my iPad, and we can view that tab by night timing, by recently added, and you can see it's ready to go. That about does it for a basic overview of Tab Toolkit on your iPad. Now, you can read more about the functions of Tab Toolkit in the Help section, and as always, you can send us your comments through the Feedback Panel or by visiting us at agilepartners.com. Thanks a lot.